I raise beef cows here on my farm. Big, shaggy beef cows. Now, despite the fact that I have beef cows, my cows produce milk. That's because I had four calves born earlier this spring, and those calves get some of their food from their moms by suckling on the teat. But sometimes I think to myself, what would it be like if I were to get milk from my cows? Is it even possible to milk a beef cow? I wonder these things as I sit around the farm and do my chores. You know, last winter I went down and visited some friends and I went to a couple different houses and they all had milk cows. And there was something really nice about being to make butter from milk that came from their homesteads or being able to have a wonderful latte made from milk with the cows on their farms. And it got me thinking, maybe I need a milk cow too. But the challenge is I have beef cows. Beef cows aren't used to being milked. Beef cows aren't used to being restrained. And my beef cows specifically, they're a wee bit wild. And just ran right through the fence. I mean, they blew past it like it didn't even exist. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on cattle, let's go. But in today's video, my goal is to try to milk my beef cows. I know this is going to take some time, I know this is going to take some effort, I know that this is not going to be easy, but my goal is to get milk from my beef cows or die trying. You must never look at the photos that I've seen at the coroner's office. I will never look at them. Hey Ariel, how's it going? Good to see you sweetie. I could just get down there and squeeze a teat. Got it. Well someone got to second base last night. It is virtually impossible to milk a cow who's not locked in place. So I think the first step I need to undertake to be able to milk one of my cows is I need to build a milking stanchion, a platform that I can hold the cow in place and milk her. So it's inside this part of the barn is where I'm going to be trying to build this milking stanchion. And today we're gonna to try to build it. I've got my sidekick here, Ginny, helping me with the build. And the spot that it's gonna be built in is actually right here. You know, I like the fact that it's in a corner so I can actually maybe go on that side of it and I won't get trampled. It's relatively flat. Of course, I do have to keep a few of these turds out of the way. Ginny, are you gonna to try to play with the cow poop? But yeah, I see it going right here. I think that's looking pretty darn good. Of course, the real test is how sturdy is it? Hey, feels pretty good. I do have to put some side braces right here. Those side braces will provide additional stability as well as keep the cattle from flopping back and forth. Trust me, there's nothing like a floppy cow. What do you think, Molly Murder Mittens? It's looking pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. I think um, things are looking pretty good. That now brings us to the next phase of this project, which is to go try to see if I can get one of my cows up in here. But if I was rating this project based on barn cat reaction, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Wouldn't you agree, Ginny? 
<laughs> Molly, be nice. Now, in order to attract my cattle, I have trained them to like to eat alfalfa cubes. There are these little green cubes made out of alfalfa. And so the moment I break one of these things out here, the cows just come running. Like Audrey here, she's already in the barn. You know, Audrey, you're also a cow in milk right now. I could easily see convincing you to come up here. The trick is really to see, is she gonna get comfortable with going through that gate and going up the ramp? That's gonna be the harder part of animal training here. You know, I was intending to first try to convince Ariel, but it seems like Audrey's the most eager. So it's Audrey who's gonna get the first crack. Come here, Audrey. Jenny, are you terrified by all this? Hey, Anna Green Gables. Would you like to try to come up? Let's see if we can get Anna Green Gables up here. Nope, Audrey pushed her away. Oh, Audrey, that's slick of you. Very slick. Now see right there, that's Ariel. She's the cow that I think has the best odds of getting trained to come up here. This is like Ginny's new jungle gym. <laughs> Having fun up there, Jin? Hey, Ariel. Hey, sweetie. Can I get you to take a step up? Come on, Ariel. Oh, you got it. You almost got it, girl. Hey, Ariel. Audrey, because Audrey's the boss cow, so she kind of pushes everybody else away. Hey, Ariel. Come on back, girl. <laughs> Audrey just heard Ariel eat, and she got mad and jealous, and she just came back. My two young bulls are button heads right here, you can see. You know, when I said I could die trying in the title of this video, I wasn't trying to exaggerate, just so you know. Jimmy's the first one to take the step on, even though he's a bull, so I don't really want him on here. We don't have a cow. We have a bull. Uh-oh, that's not good. Construction fail. So let's face it, yesterday did not go exactly as planned, but it also wasn't all bad. I got a few problems with the milking stanchion, but I'm gonna try to fix them today with some of these new supplies. I'm very optimistic that these improvements will make all the difference. Oh, hey cows. Alrighty, in terms of improvements I need to make, I think I gotta strengthen the sides and the floor layer because that's what ended up collapsing yesterday. So I have some extra wood to stabilize it, as well as a few braces that should help. And I think what I'm gonna need to do is support this and brace it somehow. So I just gotta trim them and have them sit underneath here. It feels really solid. The other improvement I want to make here is I noticed that the cattle were very sketched out by the wood floor right here and in particular didn't want to walk up the ramp. Well I just so happen to have this rubber farm mat here. What I want to try to do is put it out, see if it makes it more appealing to walk on the platform. 
But yeah, I now think I have this thing reinforced and improved. And it's time to test it out again. Wait, 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 wait. You touch it, touch it! You touch it! You touch it! All right, well, I'm all loaded up with treats. Back up there, Audrey. Don't get too aggressive. Not yet. Hey, Belinda Carlisle. You want some treats? You know, you're too young to milk. But in a couple of years, you might be up here. Ariel, you want to be first? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come just a little bit closer. I want to get you all the way up on the platform. Now, I'm not going to try to milk her today because I just want her to have positive associations with getting up here. And eventually, I'm going to need to get her head through this head gate. I'm gonna mount the bucket up here. But right now, it's just getting her used to being up on the platform. That's really the only goal we have for today. It's funny because we have like a lineup. Oh, she's going back down. She got a little spooked by me walking behind her. It's not good. I got to admit, I'm really disappointed in myself. Things did not go well yesterday, and Anna Green Gables could have really gotten hurt with her head trapped in that piece. I need to be more careful. This is supposed to be a fun experiment. But if I'm not taking the right safety precautions, it's going to be a horrible experiment. Hey, girls, come on, girls. Come on, Audrey. It was like he was scared of me. Scared of a cat. I'm sorry, Jimi Hendrix, but I don't think Pablo Barncat wants to play with you. starting to wonder if my approach is all wrong. Maybe the milking stanchion isn't the right thing to use. But you know, as I was thinking about it last night, I realized there is another option that I have. And that I have this cattle handling area here. And while it wouldn't be the traditional way to bring cattle in and try to get them milked, I could easily try to get them into the squeeze chute here and, and try milking that way. What do you think, Abby Dog? Should we give it a try? Hey, Kels! Come on, Kels! Hey, Kels! Come on! Come with me, you guys. You three will make a nice group. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. Easy. Now getting the cattle into the chute actually proved to be a little bit trickier than usual. The way my chute's designed, it's really meant to be two people working it. So one person drawing the cows in and operating the gates, and then a second person standing in the back ensuring that the cattle don't get distracted or wander off, which is kind of what kept happening to me here. So I kind of gave up on that one. But there was one other thing I wanted to try, and that was actually using a halter. So typically when people have dairy cows, they'll use a little rope that they can attach to the nose of their cow and use that to lead the cow to where they want them to go. Unfortunately, none of my cattle are halter trained. And so this was the first time I ever really attempted to get a halter on an adult cow. I opted to work with Ariel because she's the calmest and easiest to work with. But even working with Ariel proved to be just a little bit tricky. I couldn't quite get the halter around Ariel's nose, so this experiment kind of turned out to be a flop too. But luckily, Ariel is a super good sport and she didn't get too concerned or worked up over the attempt at using the halter. Okay, you're free, girl. I mean, it's incredible that she let me do that much to her and she's still just kind of here hanging out with me. So I guess I got that going for me. One of the things folks have continuously asked me is why am I doing this? Why is it so important to me? And I think the honest truth is, I see it as a challenge to learn more about my animals and get closer to my animals. And in doing that, I think it makes me a better farmer. And so while I really have been dreaming about having a glass of milk from one of my cows, the milk, the end product, isn't the real goal. This journey is the goal for me. Learning more about the behavior of my animals, building a deeper trust and relationship with my animals, quite honestly, that's what I'm going for. Come on, Errol. Come on. Just you, come on. Let's see if I can break you off from the herd. I don't need a halter. I'll just command you by hand. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. Can I get you up? Come on. Here, I'll give you one. Can you do it before Audrey gets here? Ariel. Oh no, come back, Ariel. Come back. I'm kind of unprepared for this one. I wasn't expecting them all to follow me. I was just hoping to get Ariel to come with me, but looks like the whole crew showed up. But that actually gives me another idea to try here. You know, throughout this entire saga of me trying to milk my beef cows, there's been one cow that stood out. The one cow that'll let me brush her, the one cow that'll let me pet her. And although I let the cow that was the most aggressive and the one to get out front to be the one to get milked, Maybe my efforts were being focused in the wrong place. And maybe the thing I needed to do was focus in on a slightly different cow. Maybe I needed to pay more attention to Ariel.
did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did it. <laughs> it was just a sip's worth, but I got it. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job, Ariel. Oh, sweetie, I'm so proud of you. Oh man, that's incredible. It tasted wonderful. Sweet and warm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh. Pablo, can you believe it? You wanna try some of the little leftover milk there, Pablo? Here, man. Oh, Pablo's getting some too. I'm not exactly sure if the juice is worth the squeeze. But golly, that's incredible. Uh-oh, and I think Molly Murder Mittens is getting jealous. Molly, you wanna try some? Now I know there's probably a few skeptics out there in the audience saying, gosh, Morgan, a sip of milk doesn't really count as milking your cow. Did you ever really milk that cow? Why, yes, yes I did. 